In this video, we're going to take a look at the new export mesh feature in Substance Designer 2021.1. So I have a substance material already loaded. I'm using the Victorian style painted facade 03. This is a substance material that I grabbed from Substance Source. And you can see that it is a procedural material to create part of this building facade. Now, here in my 3D view, I have a mesh loaded. So if I click the scene button, you can see that I'm using the plain high res mesh. Now for the material, if we take a look, you can see that I'm using the physically based metal rough tessellation shader. So let's take a look at the properties. I'm going to click the edit option. And then here you can see that I have my scale set to a value of 10. Now here in the 3D view, we can see that we have some displacement. So with the export mesh feature in Substance Designer, I can actually export this tessellated mesh as an FBX or OBJ that I can use in other 3D applications. The process is quite simple. I just need to come over to Scene and choose Export Scene. Here I have some options I'm going to choose to enable to recompute my vertex normals, and then I can just click the Export button. For the file type, I can use standard formats such as FBX or OBJ. In my case, I'm going to keep this as an FBX and then simply hit Save to export the scene. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of is the actual tessellation factor. So in this particular case here for this scene, plain high res, this already has a lot of faces or geometry. So if I start to increase the tessellation factor, I'm going to be increasing the face count exponentially. And this can cause some issues because you're going to end up exporting a very, very dense mesh. So just be aware that the tessellation factor is going to greatly increase the amount of vertices or faces that you have on your export. So in my case here, I can leave this at a very low value of one, and I'm going to be able to export quickly and also have a mesh that's not too dense for working in my 3D application. Now, I also want to use the material or the texture. So I'm going to do another quick export. So here from the top of the node graph, I'm going to choose to export outputs. And here is where I can start to choose my format as well as enable the outputs that I want to export. So here I just want to bring your attention to this option for automatic export when outputs change. This is a great feature as whenever I make any changes here in my node graph, Substance Designer will kick out these textures or exports in the background. So it's really good when I'm setting up a workflow between Substance Designer and an application that doesn't directly support the Substance Material format, say something like Blender. So in that case, I can export, hook my textures up in Blender. If I make any changes in Designer, Designer is re-exporting the textures for me automatically in the background and then I can just hot reload those back in Blender. So here we are in Blender. I'm now going to import the mesh that I just exported from Substance Designer. So I'm going to delete my cube and go to File, Import, FBX. Here I'll select the mesh and for my scale, I'm actually just going to set this to a value of 2 and then import the FBX. So here you can see the geometry that we have. So what's really cool is this geometry was built procedurally using height information within Substance Designer. So now I'm going to duplicate the geometry to create the side of the building. Before I start to duplicate the mesh, what I'm going to do is jump over here to the shading tab and I'm going to apply or create a material and use the textures that I exported from Substance Designer. So here I will create a new material and I'm going to use a function of the Node Wrangler add-on to import my textures based on a principled texture setup. Okay, so here you can see that I have the textures from Substance Designer imported and applied to the actual mesh. Now I'm going to duplicate the geometry and reposition it to create the side of the building. Now we have the building with geometry and textures procedurally created in Substance Designer. You can use Designer to procedurally build geometry using height and displacement, and then export the mesh for use in applications like Blender. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.